Ode to Evening by William Collins If aught of Oten stop or pastoral song may hope, chast Eve, to soothe thy modest ear, like thy own solemn springs, thy springs and dying gales, O nymph reserved, while now the bright-haired sun sits in yon western tent whose cloudy skirts with bread ethereal wove, overhanging his weavy bed. Now air is hushed, save where the weak-eyed bat with short shrill shriek flits by on leathern wing, or where the beetle winds his small but sullen horn as oft he rises midst the twilight path against the pilgrim born in heedless hum. Now teach me, maid composed, to breathe some softened strain whose numbers stealing through thy darkening veil may not unseemingly with its stillness suit as musings slow I hail, thy genial love return. For when thy folding star arising shows his paly circlet at his warning lamp, the fragrant hours and elves who slept in flowers the day, and many a nymph who wreathes her brow with sedge and sheds the freshening dew, and lovelier still the pensive pleasures sweet prepare thy shadowy car. Then lead Convotris, where some sheedy lake cheers the lone heath, or some time-hollowed pile, or upland fallows gray reflect its last cool gleam. But when chill blustering winds or driving rain forbid my willing feet, be mine the hut that from the mountain's side views wilds and swelling floods and hamlets brown and dim discovered spires and hears their simple bell and marks over all thy dewy fingers draw the gradual dusky veil while spring shall pour his showers as oft he want and bathe thy breathing tresses meekest eve while summer loves to sport beneath thy lingering light, while sallow autumn fills thy lap with leaves, or winter yelling through the turbulous air, affrights thy shrieking train and rudely rends thy robes, so long sure found beneath the sylvan shed shall fancy, friendship, science, rose-lipped heath, thy gentlest influence own, and hymn thy favorite name.